Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Nelly. Good evening. How are you? Hello, hello, Nelly. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Margarito. Hello, Carla. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. How are you? Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Yes. All right. What information do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember? What can you tell me? What did we talk about? Sobre la utilización de los pronombres. That's right. ¿Cuáles pronombres se acuerda? Um, my, your, his, and her. That's right. That is correct. So today we are going to get started with the next section, which is knowledge check instructions. Use the possessives, my, your, his, or her to complete the blank. Instrucciones. Usa los posesivos my, yo, your, his, or her para completar los espacios en blanco. These spaces right here. Los voy a poner en pareja. Van a tener cinco minutos. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Eh, Wendy tiene que ingresar a sesión pequeña. Margarita, Huawei, let's go. Work, work, work. ¿Ese sobre qué? Es sobre los pronombres. Vamos a completarlo. 1.4, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, el ejercicio que está, los tres, pregunta. Uh -huh. Sí, lo hice. Yo también. <risa> Ah, my. Sí. Ya, taco. <risa> ya, estamos ya adelantadas. Uh -huh. <risa> wow. Bien raro, bien raro. All right, all right. Sorry about that, guys. Veo que la mayoría ya hicieron el ejercicio. So, lo vamos a chequear juntos. Eh, ¿Quién me puede dar la respuesta para el número uno? Número uno, hello, what's your name? Carla, ¿me puede dar la respuesta para el número uno? Carla Morales. Number one, please.
Okay, the answer is my. Hi, my name is Antonio. Wendy Letona, number two, please. Number two, Wendy. Margarita, number two. La num el número dos. Sí, por favor, la número dos. My name is Nicole. Excellent. Her, her name is Nicole. Her name is Nicole. Okay, Elisa, number three. Uh, Nelly Lopez, number three. Uh, his name is Michael. His name is Michael is correct. All right. Um, ¿En qué sección van eh, la mayoría? Para no atrasarlos. ¿En qué sección van la mayoría? 1.6. 1.6. Yo estoy en la sección 2. Ya estás en la 2. Excelente, Margarita. Ok, todos van en la punto 6 menos Margarita. Y en mi caso también voy en la 2 también. En la 2. ¿Cómo me dijo que era su nombre, joven? Marvin Alfaro. Marvin Alfaro, le vamos a poner porque tiene Elisa. Marvin. Ok, ¿quién más eh, me puede decir por dónde va? Yo terminé la sección 1, empezar la 2. Empezar la 2. ¿Quién más? Hello, ¿Quién teacher. Más? Hello, hello. Eh, yo voy por 2.9 con las preposiciones. Wow, súper avanzado, excelente. ¿Quién más? Wendy, ¿por dónde va Wendy? Me comenta Marlin Galdames que no escucha. Eh, Marlin, ¿me escuchas? Caldames, Ana Durán, ok, entonces eh, estamos viendo que la mayoría va por la dos, ok, entonces vamos a hacer estas actividades empezando desde la dos ahorita. Qué avanzados son ustedes. Un momento, guys. Eh, se me está bien lenta la plataforma y no me no me carga la la sección 2, la que estoy buscando. Ok, vamos a empezar de la sección número 2. Deme un segundito, que tuve que salirme de la sección 1. Una pregunta, teacher. Dígame. Este, en la sección 1.6 en, en la discussion, uh -huh. este, dice que vamos a entrar a un sitio web para grabarnos. Sí. Ahí serían deletrear 10 palabras, 10 nombres 
-huh. o solo el nombre y el apellido? Quiero ver. 1.6, The Alphabet. Uh -huh. ¿Esta? Sí. Ah, sí, esta es en Vocaru. Se va a ir a vocaru.com, así como lo hizo Carlos Alvarado. Y le va a dar acá, se va, le va a dar clic a grabarse. ¿Te parece esta pantalla, Vocaru? Y escuchamos la grabación. Empiezo a grabar mi voz. My name is Carlos. My, you spell my name, my name C-A-R-L-O-S. My last name is Alvarado. You spell it A-L-V-A-R-A-D-O. Y ahí se va a grabar. Uh -huh. Y después so, va a copiar el, aquí abajo le va a aparecer el, el share. Uh -huh. Y lo va a grabar, lo va a copy paste y lo va a pegar acá en la plataforma. Solo sería nuestro nombre y nuestro apellido. Eh, quiero ver las indicaciones del video. Después ustedes deben compartir ese link. Dice, grábense en el siguiente sitio de productos. Hi, everyone. Ah, no puede eh, deletrear el nombre de su familia, eh, su nombre. Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, ¿Ya completaron la 1.7? ¿Ya completaron la 1.7? Levante la mano el que no ha completado la 1.7 para hacerla juntos. No la han completado. No. En mi okay. caso no. De exercise. Ajá, el exercise. No lo hemos hecho. Ok. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que lo hagan en este momento en parejas. Five minutes. Five minutes para que lo hagan juntos en parejas. Y después lo vamos a chequear en clase todos. Let's go. Cinco minutos. Tiene que darle clic a ingresar a sesión pequeña. ¿Y si ya lo hicimos? Si ya lo hizo, ayúdele a su compañero. Ok.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? All right, let's check. We're going to check the answers. Number one, number one, please, for me, Margarita, number one. All right, let me have Roxy, number one. Rox, number one. J-O-N. Excellent. J-O-N is correct. John, number two, Carla. S-A-R-A. That's right. S-A-R-A is correct. Let me have the next one. Juan Castellanos, number three. Juan Castellanos, number three. All right, that would be S-T-E-P-H-E-N. That's correct. Let me have Marvin Alfaro, number four. Marvin Alfaro, number four. Ahorita es... 
Is K A T H R E N. All right, repeat K A T H R Y N. K A T H R R R Y Y N. N. All right, thank you. Number five, Wendy Latona. E R I S. Excellent. Great. K R I S is correct. All right. Now we're going to go to the next activity. 1.8 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formar oraciones y preguntas usando el verbo to be, ser o estar. We're going to watch a video. Listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they you're going to use R and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller you can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. Subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be his. He is. say uh, Mario that's his name um, he 
say he is um, uh, he is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. And they are. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you find questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. And, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Now, obviously, you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, an English teacher. All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning, and I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Is he a mechanic? Is is he at work? Are they my coworkers? Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. All right, so we're going to do examples, but the examples, we're going to write them right here on the discussion forum. Quiero que me den por lo menos 10 ejemplos aquí 
open and discussion forum utilizando los ejemplos que vimos acá. And with capitals. I am, he is, am they I Joe? are, we are, he is, she is. Por ejemplo, donde dice title, le vas a poner tu nombre. Number All right, for example, number one, I am Robert. Number two, she is Melissa. Number three, they are students. You're going to give me 10 examples. I'm going to put you in pairs. I want you to help each other, but everybody is going to do it on the platform. Todos lo van a hacer en la plataforma individualmente. Me van a escribir 10 ejemplos con I am, he is, she is, they are, you are, we are. 10 examples. Do you have any questions? Uh, Nelly, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a, a escribir 10 oraciones utilizando el... Eh, el you, we, they are, he, she, it, is, o I am. That's right. That is correct. Does anybody have any questions? Lo van a hacer en parejas, pero cada quien lo tiene que escribir en su platform. Jose Ernesto, do you have any questions? Hello. Hello, Ahorita, José Ernesto. ¿Alguna esa, pregunta, consulta? Dígame. Pregunte. Eh, pregun voy, va, mi, mil disculpas, voy ingresando ahorita y hasta hoy pude entrar a la plataforma de trabajo. Ok. Eh, ahorita voy a tratar de ingresar para poder ponerme al día con, con las 10 oraciones ahorita. All right. Y lo voy a poner con Margarita Argueta. Ella va bien avanzada. Tal okay. vez ella le puede ayudar a ponerse al día. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. Hola. Let's go. Hola, Margarita. Eh, Margarita, usted va a trabajar con José y Ernesto. Ayúdemele, por favor, porque él hasta ahora está ingresando a la platform. Please. Desde, desde el principio. Yes, please. Okay. Let's go. Eh, le tienen que dar clic a ingresar con se a sesión privada. Ingresar a sesión Hola. privada. Le tienen que dar clic a ingresar a sesión privada. Let's go, let's go. Marvin, Margarita. Hola. 